Hello! Welcome back to ZF Super Minecraft Adventure! <sighs> That's about a kill, wasn't it? Yes, welcome back. Super Minecraft Adventure episode number 16. We're on our sweet 16. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I just feel like singing, which, you know, it's fun for me. Deafening for you. So, um, I do apologise about that. Um, ooh, ooh, don't look. That's something special later on in the episode. I have been busy. Um, I've done jobs here and there in the world. Uh, we'll just do a quick rundown of things I've done. Um, then we'll get on with the main content of today's episode. Okay, so here in the Never, um, I have actually made a more permanent, but it's a temporary permanent, um, Never portal protector thingy. Um, it's got four little entrances here, 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 and here. It just means that when you come through the portal, a ghast can't see you. They can't see through these um, iron bars, and which means they don't shoot you, which means they're never going to pop the the portal um, and it just you know there's doors here and here and here it's just it like I say it's oh, oh, let me in. it's just temporarily permanent um, and then it's exactly the same design for the one over there I've moved it too it used to be um it used to be here-ish and that took us up onto oh jump over big death hole that used to be up on a tree and now if we go this is to the um, stronghold um, if we go through here now we appear bang right here by the portal so much much easier access to get to the end speaking of the end um, I've also gone and got rid of a few more obsidian pillars so I've got rid of one there you can see the bedrock block ab above one there so that's two one more just just there it's difficult to see another one there and this is the original one that we got rid of so um you know they're getting gone and I'm just um I'm just putting a ice block on top and then torches all on the side so the ice block melts which means none of them are going to want to teleport up there they can't spawn on them anyway because they're bedrock but they can't spawn on it even more now because there's water and that if they teleport up there they'll go uh, uh, I'm having a bath uh, and then they'll teleport away again um, eee. Uh, what's next we have had a huge sheep explosion um, and they just keep escaping. There's probably a load more escaped up there as well. So for now, a couple of them were, were coming up here and into my main base. So I've just um, I've just blocked them off. Look, that one, perfect example. It's just some legs. Chickens be murdered. Um, we got enough eggs from them. In fact, we filled up both of these double chests and, if I can reach it, both hoppers as well. So that's that's lovely. That's enough. That's plenty of eggs. We can... Get rid of you, just to be symmetrical with that side. We uh, we can now start the Chickenerator Mark II soon, at some point. I don't know when. Um, so I've had to keep popping over to the 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 cowboy town a lot. So I thought I always I never know which exactly direction it is. I, like sometimes I think it's that way more. Sometimes I think it's that way more. So I thought you know what I'll build a path. Um, so it just sort of ends here. I'll have to fix that in with something else. I think this whole farm needs to be moved at some point anyway so that we've got more of a walkway here but but um, we'll just do a quick little uh, time skip all the way up the path. I'll try and keep it smooth for you. And it ends. Um, oh, items back please. And it's you know a bit lit up as well. I was always getting ambushed by mobs every time I'd try and head back during the night. Why do I have a cobblestone Where'd that come from? Hmm. Uh, nothing new with the desert village, but uh, one more final thingy majig that I've done. This place here? Ring any bells? No? Yeah? Maybe? No? Maybe? <coughs> well, this is the previous home. Buttons, wrong buttons, screenshot, hidden thingy everywhere. Um, oh, well, yeah, this is the old site of our. Leave me, leave me! going on? That sounded like he was hurting me a lot. Our old quarry. Um, well, our only qu qu quarry. Why Why torch, miss? Um, ah, that's why they were spawning. Ah, I remember now. Um, yeah, this is our old our old quarry. I built it, you know, out when we were building Glassy Dome Home. And I just realised that 
it's far too near our base and even nearer the cowboy town. So um, can I get out of here without making a complete tit of myself? Um, para, ha ha. Um, so I just covered it up. But this reminds me of something. Whoopsie, whoop, uh, whoopsie. Um, this reminds me of something from Indiana Jones, one of the films. They they're in a desert and they're looking for the home of the something artifact. I can't remember. And, um, might be the Ark of the Covenant. I really don't know. And, um, whoop, I've gone off topic. Oh, yeah, and they go, they go down, and Indiana Jones and his girlfriend get sent down into the hole, and there's a lot of snakes in there and that. So maybe, who knows, I seem to have a habit of reenacting Indiana Jones things. Maybe, uh, maybe one day that'll, uh, that'll uh, make an appearance. Hmm. Okay, so the final, not really change, because I haven't done it yet, but we're just about to do a very quick little change together. Now, this is my item drop off -y system -y thingy, so there's a chest up by the tree farm. I built this a few episodes ago, or even last episode? No, a couple of episodes ago. Um, and it basically brings stuff here, drops it all off, empties the chest minecart, and sends it right back again. I won't go into details. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. Um, but, you know... I've actually put out a tutorial recently, which there'll be an annotation on the screen, and it is a better, improved design than what I showed in that episode. More compact, more efficient in terms of the materials that it uses, and yeah, it's just better in general. Um, and it's also one block less tall, which means we don't have to have this dip down a bit, and also, I don't know why I never even did this before, but you can have it really like close up, so these chests here can actually be in the position of these chests here so it'll make this whole room this whole little yeah, pla platform I love how the why does the bed go lighter when you start punching it Ooh, flash flashy flash flash we can have this whole room more not symmetrical but uh, position wise symmetrical so um I've uh, set up a little show and tell of the the old design and the new design together let's go and have a look at it now um Right, so, uh, yeah, this is my old design here, as you can see, um, if you can remember it from the episode. So the cart just comes along here, this gets turned off, it all gets drained out, glug, 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 glug sends it off again, powers it, fell, fell into a hole. This, however, is my new compact tur design. It uses two less redstone dust, um, and is one block less tall. Um, and I guess it also is... No, 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 that's just the only benefits of it, but... It's just better in general, like, it just is. So we're going to be building this, this too high one, which again, the tutorial, probably an annotation on the screen, because, yeah, I want people to go and watch it, of course. Um, Self-promoting. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we're going to build this. We're going to rip out the old one and build this down there in the brand new hole. So um, I'm going to go get starting to rip out, and then we will see what it looks like with a big, empty, gaping hole in our base. No. Okay, so here we go. I've ripped out um, two of them, and I've just got this original one left in here. Uh, again, just to sort of maybe show you how it works. I don't know. I don't know how clear I'm actually coming across that it's being made. But uh, the new one, the new one, we want to start building uh, very differently. So again, I've got slightly more to rip out actually than I thought I did. Uh, I need a silk. My silky shears to get rid of that glowstone there. Come, come to me. Come to me, baby. Um, oh, I also, um, I upgraded these to efficiency 5 as well. Just so, you know, just in case you were wondering. Um, yep, got a book. Because um, you can now mix books together. So I basically got like, I don't know, something stupid like 12 efficiency 1 books. Merged two, them all into 2s and then merged the 2s into 3s and then merged the 3s into fours and then uh, you should be left with two four or it already was an efficiency four on it so you just then merge the efficiency four book with the efficiency four silky share and you get an efficiency five one ooh, ooh, ooh beautiful so um i did that as well just in case you know i don't want people spotting up little things like that and getting confused like oh hang on a minute what happened there he he made that pick uh ugh, shears better all of a sudden can't be having that, can we? No, no, no. No, we cannot. So, this is going to be the new border. Border, border, border. So, we're going to have a chest literally just just here. 
on glowstone. So that would be like that. Oh, it's going to be so much better now. Because before, it's difficult to see, but it was very plain. It looked all downwards and that. I did I did say how plain I thought it looked before. So that is where the new chest position is going to be. Uh, so then we're going to need some loggy log logs on toppy top, top of batty that that. Um, I don't know why I'm speaking like I'm talking to a five-year-old, but there you go. So that would be like that, which means... Hmm. 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 Maybe just for just for the hell of it, <laughs> we could have uh, more chests on top. It just means that we'll have you know it's more space, isn't it? Really, doesn't really matter. Doesn't need to be a trappy trapped t -t -t chest. I'll go get some more chests. I'll go get some more. Uh, oh well, I could just use this one actually, can I? Forget that. Scrap that. Don't make a cut there, future self. Just uh, keep it keep it going on. Oh, it's still the trappy. Come. Chest. Trapped. Swap. They better have swapped. Thank you. Thank you. So then there'll be... Oh, we can't have glowstone all behind them. Hmm, that might be a problem. That might be a problem. But we'll come to that when we get to that. Oh, they hang around for ages, they do. The old framey frames. What's with that? What's with them taking forever? Let's just fill in this and not have enough to finish it off fully. Beautiful, beautiful. So, um, the track is going to need to raise up one. So, we're going to have a hopper. Um, hopper. So, then the track is going to go through here, which is fine. That's fine. I'm fine with, with such things happening. Da -da -da. Track, track, track. Let's just have some room, because I don't like filming in uh, tight quarters. It's, it's not... It's not it's not good. It's not good. You can't really tell what's going on very well. So right, that would go there. We'd have a we'd have a powered rail there and we would have regular rails here. Something looked a bit odd there, but I think it's all fine. Normal, 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 normal. And obviously this just wouldn't come down that last step. It would just it would just end there like that. So that's all good. That's all fine and dandy. So this would go round here, la la la. And whoa, 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 whoa! Rip, 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 rip! I don't know why I feel like I have to add my sound effect, own sound effects to to everything I do. It just it's like a it's a habit, really. Sorry, pop. Sorry, apologies, apologies. Da douche! Oh, instantly start doing it again. Okay, enough with the enough with the rail business now. Enough, enough. Um. Okay, so so we've got a. A stoppy track there just to stop the cart going crazily over we could actually use a lamp there I think or glowstone glowstone even would work let's use glowstone so oh, glowstone is the stoppy track okay and then and then and then we need I'm forgetting my own design and I'm running out of cobble Nick Nick oh, I'm even <laughs> I'm even using sound effects that are Nick now so that is gonna be a comparator like that and that goes into a block which goes into a redstone torch which goes into a block which comes so this block is now being constantly powered which goes into a repeater as you can see it's always powered which goes into a block which, because it's right next to the track here, it powers the track. Lovely. So as soon as there's an item in this hopper, it turns the track off. Lovely, lovely, lovely. If we was to put a couple more in, oh, you'd see that it would turn it off for a little while. That's exactly what we want, and it's good, and it's great, and it's lovely. And come back on, please. I'm worried now. Thank you. Uh, see, so you just got to talk nice to it a bit. Grab our stuff back. Um, that's the basic gist, really. Um... It's a shame that there's going to be a gap there. Hmm. I wonder what could be could be done with that. Hmm. Hmm. And hmm. Because there's a. Hmm. 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 Thoughts. Thoughts. Because the bottom one 
where there's a hopper there. It doesn't really show all that much. It's just it's just that one there. I wonder if maybe maybe as we have the space, we could actually move all this contraption one block back and have instead of it just going from hopper into the chest, we could have it hopper into a hopper into the chest. Just just a just a buffer like that, and then that that pulls us one block further away. I'm gonna do that. Ready? Three, two, one. Blum. Okay, so I've just moved the track up, and now it's become to the point where I don't need to go back there anymore, and it's very, very full up. So, uh, this is almost finished now, actually. It's very, very small, quick, and easy to do. Wrong! Wrong! Very, very quick and easy to do, and then I instantly make a mistake. So, that goes into there like that, and there we have that. Now, this is able to be glowstone and that's able to be glowstone so it's just one square that's a hopper which from back here yeah you can't really tell you can't really tell you know it's, it's you can't really so it's all right and stuff and that and then we just do the piece the little resistance there of of that and then we put a block a block a block a block a block i keep hearing a chick ah oh, it's our it's our um it's our um, it's our thingy, it's our thingy chicken, isn't it? It's our librarian chicken, called Buck, Buck. <laughs> oh, what a funny thing! Um, right, I guess this is finished now, so we better test it. We better give it a quick testy, 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 tester, just in case. Oh, we can rip these down for for parts as well. Okay, so boom. Fill it with some wood, not too much checks after it. Da, 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 da. I'm also coming up with a um, an automatic sending cart system thing as well. There we go. It's, it's filling it up. Filling it up. On its way back again. Beautiful. Oh, I love it when things just happen. It's good. And it's returned. Beautiful. And it's returned empty. Great. There you go. I will uh, quickly just put in the other two and tidy everything up. Make it look beautiful, just like me. There we go. I finished off the the other two here and filled it all in. Made it look pretty. Uh, it looks much much better. I mean, you can see the three the three hoppers are in few far back here, but it doesn't really stand out all that much. You know, they're grey. Um, used a lock chest in the middle there. Covered this all back over. It fits snugly. I had loads of um, lo you know, I actually when I ripped it all out and built it again using that ripped out stuff, I had loads of stuff left over. Um, I think this looks much, much better. I, what my goal is now, I have no clue how I'm going to do it, but we've got a furnace sort of part here. We've got the um, chest station here. I would like to turn these two things into something else as well. Both unique things. So down here we've got four unique things. One of them could be a, a, you know, a train station place for us, or... Maybe if we get it, we could have one, another one of these over this side again, and then we just need one more unique idea. But if you've got any ideas of what these could eventually turn into, you know, they could be... I know I haven't got everything in my world at all at the moment, but if you think, well, one day you're going to have a crazy windmill-powered creeper-dispensing mob elevator or something, you know, I you say, well, I could build it then, because, then, you know... This whole world is going to be a long-term thing, so we want to have future plans as well as, uh, you know, current plans. Well, there we have it. I'm very pleased with our brand spanking new cargo drop-off system that is much better than the, the previous one. And now I just want to go and chop wood all day long, fill up the chest, and bring it over here. What's a cooking? What's a cooking? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some charcoal. Of course, of course, of course. Right, I really need to get thinking about um, our next sort of medium sized project. I'm thinking it's probably going to be a mob farm. It might either be Enderman or it might just be a, a big, you know, creeper, skeleton, zombie, my mob farmy thingy-majig. Um, and also, I need to look into the Chicken Orator version 2. It's going to be bigger, it's going to be maybe a bit better, and it's going to blow off your socks if you're wearing socks. If not, it will put socks on. That's how good it's going to be. But, you know what? Let's do something special for the end of, end of the episode, shall we? 
Shall we? You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Action! Did 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 Sheep. Why did it have to be sheep? 